Hey folks, welcome to today's session on a variable in Solidity. A variable is a value that can generally store information and is very important in every programming language. Every piece of logic that we write in the form of a program requires some information to be stored, which is what can be stored in a variable. A variable is a value that can change as the name states depending on conditions or information passed to the program. In a program, we can also create constants that will hold values that are forever the same throughout the lifetime of the program. Let's take a quick look at the types of variables in Solidity. There are three types of variables in Solidity. The first one, also known as state variables, are very important because they are the ones that are actually storing the information on the blockchain. These are variables whose values are permanently stored in contract storage. Second type of variables are local variables. These are temporary variables that we create when we want to store some information temporarily within the contract. The scope of these variables is just within the function until the particular function or a body of code is executing. The third type of variable and something slightly different and interesting in Solidity are global variables. Global variables are not this, don't in Solidity don't have the same connotation as that of other programming languages. Here, global variables are special variables which have their own names, which are used to get information from the blockchain about the, which exists in the global namespace. Some popular global variables are message.value, message.sender, block.timestamp, which we often use in the smart contracts. Let's take a quick look at each of these variables. In this contract, which is an example contract, you can see that A, B, and K of type integer, unsigned integer, and address respectively are state variables. These variables are defined within the contract and are present in the contract storage once this contract is deployed. These variables can be accessed based on their access specifier throughout the scope of the contract. Local variables, like I said, are temporary variables that we create to perform some actions. For example, in this particular piece of code, you can see that uint d, an unsigned integer called d, is a local variable whose scope is only within this particular function within starting from this bracket until this bracket and this particular d is being used to to call this other function sum function store the value of the sum and then return the val uh, value d you can see from the previous code that a and b were variables defined in the contract and we can use these variables directly in order to sum them and return the summed unsigned integer the third type of variable, also known as global variables, like I said, are special keywords that are, we get from the global namespace from the blockchain. So here, this particular function called payable func is a payable function where we can send some ether. So ether in the context of Ethereum, but other native currency for other EVM chains. Now here, the value that was sent to this particular function can be accessed through this variable message.value. This is a global variable present in the namespace. In your Notion document that you have received for this week, you will find a list of global variables as well as restricted keywords that are used in Solidity, which you cannot use to name your variable. What are the names of the variables here? A, B, K, D, amount, all of these are variable names. How do you declare variables in Solidity? To declare variable, you write the type of the variable followed by the visibility, whether it is public or private, and then the name of the variable. Under your curriculum document, you can see that there is a page for reserved keywords. These are keywords you cannot use as names for your variables, and there is a page for global variables as well. Thank you.